controlling the ball himself and he ends up. Who's the three point basket is uh, Zeus is uh, not supposed to take the fend out here. Here's two fence for seven footers. By the way, totally off subject, subject, but I'm leading to something. Did you see Michael Thompson in his game before the game? Absolutely. Hip replacement Michael Thompson, the great Michael Thompson. Finally. And I say that because there's two Thompsons hobbling around the house, and our thoughts are going out to Clay, of course, to uh, get better soon after battling all the way back and, and having that. Uh, I felt so bad when yeah. I heard that news. Michael texted me and told me about that. Right. I was like ready to shed a tear. It was just very, very unfortunate. And that knocks the Warrior chances down a little bit. So Steph Curry will be back and ready to go, along with Wiseman, their number one pick, and Draymond Green. Well, that first name you mentioned uh, is going to put fear in a lot of people. James oh, Wiseman? Yeah. No. Oh. Steph Curry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boy. Well, we saw his golf games in good shape. And then, you know the basketball game will be right there, too. That one's fired up, and again, a couple of bodies that are rolling pins on the floor. <laughs> when they close, they get, they close that gate, <laughs> Schroeder had to pick it up and take an extra step. And the official said, I can't give it to you. Let's call Travley. Time out. The Lakers down by four. last year over 18 a game and welcome to the lake show dennis schroeder and more on dennis here's mike well first of all bill lots of laker fans in germany schroeder said he was over there when he got word of the trade and the country uh, went nuts he said everybody was sexy it was a big deal it was in all the newspapers online and everything so uh, the laker brand strong there as well and then as far as uh, you mentioned his comments earlier about wanting to start Frank Vogel was asked about that, and he said he's absolutely in contention for it. He hasn't decided yet what to do with the starting lineup, but if you do start him, that does take some of that playmaking uh, role out of the hands of LeBron. So he's responsibility. He, of course, is still going to be the main guy in that instance. But, uh, Stu, what do you think of how that could balance having Schroeder on the other side of the floor and having two different attacks potentially there with LeBron? Well, I kind of like it because I don't want LeBron having to always be the playmaker throughout the whole season with the games being a whole lot. LeBron's going to have the ball, but... It's, a, it's about resting. You can rest on the floor as a player when you're not having to bring it up. We used to like to try to make the, the best guards handle it and handle it as much as possible just to wear them out for the fourth quarter. While we were waxing poetic about Dennis Schroeder, how about another great play by THT? Taylor Horton Tucker, he is impressing again here in game number one. Get to the basket for a, uh, another two-pointer a moment ago. And the more he uh, playing time he gets, the better. And when he starts playing with LeBron and AD, opening's going to be even greater. Boy, you saw if you made that basket, the reaction that LeBron gave him. Very well liked. These players know that he can ball. Canard. Picked by Zubats. Over Kuzma, nothing but net. Luke Kennard has five, making seven points in the game. Schroeder has ten. Paul George has ten. Everybody else, and there's a whole host of them, in single digits tonight in the preseason. Everybody just get their first sweat going. Kuzma gets knocked down. No call. We've got under five minutes to go in the quarter. Patterson saves it. Then he does it. Then he does. Back to Harrell, and he's intentionally fouled by Zuba. Tucker. Nice job. Change direction. Gets into the paint. Strong. He, yeah, strong well, in there. Well, I tell you, if you don't have a real rim protector, uh, he's going to get there and finish a pot. A big wingspan of Taylor Horton Tucker. He will go to the socially distanced benches. You can see the players and the coaches all wearing masks. Mandatory. 
Also, you might notice the coaches not in coats and ties. They don't have to wear them this year. The, uh, it's more of the, the bubble look for coaches throughout the course of this year in the NBA. And that's going to extend to the regular season. Over the shoulder goes to Quinn Cook on its way. Weak side rebound. Trez is there. Trez goes underneath. Can't throw it in. He's on the floor. And now he gets up because the Clippers have it and they're coming the other way. Sue again did a great job of just utilizing his big body and staying in position. Forced Trez to take a difficult attempt. Now you were talking about it. Mike's been talking about it. Both teams shooting well below 40% tonight. And from uh, beyond the arc, Lakers just three for 13. Looking for their fourth. They can't get it. Schroeder's got two of the threes. I recall Caruso early on. And we haven't seen Alex again. Hurt what we thought might be his hip earlier on in the game. Tried to give it a go again, but we haven't seen him here. I don't even see him on the sideline, yeah, do you? Yeah, he might be, uh, might be did he treatment. treatment. Yeah, you would think. It's hard to see what's on the sideline because they have them so uh, spread out. spaced out. And you can tell, you know, no stands uh, behind each basket. That's obviously something different. Don't need them. So you've got people, folks sitting in those, part of the, the team. Employees, part of the team. Uh, what could be a traveling party. Traveling parties will be held to 45, which is going to be fine for most teams. Some travel many going. Montrez nearly had a double-double in the first half. Currently, he's got 11 boards and 9 points. Mark Gasol, another one of the new Lakers, resting tonight. As are several other. Where he played most of his career before going up to Toronto and helping them to a championship. In fact, he and Serge, who is playing now for the Clippers, they kind of rotated as starters last year, and at times they went big and had a both, but they were both uh, huge parts when uh, they were on that team. Uh, illegal screen by Antetokounmpo. As again, I felt contact, and as soon as the contact hit him, he went to the basket. you got to wait, you got to count for a second, and then go, and you won't get that goal. Uh, and, and, you know, Stu, just as a second as they lob it up, not a good pass at all. They get bailed out with a push. Just to go back to Marcus Hall, lots of scuttlebutt uh, rumors that Pau Gasol wants to get back in. Pau himself says, I want to get back to the lead. Now, a lot's going to happen until that. And a lot of folks are thinking, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be great if Pau could join his brother? Quick thoughts on that. Obviously, it'd be nice for the, the brothers to play together. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, there's a lot that has to happen. Yeah. yeah. And one uh, is uh, Pau has to be you know, somewhat healthy. And yeah, as he's trying to, he's just... Uh, ramping up his workouts a little bit and it's got to work out contractually it's got to work out as far as a, how it, it, it looks as to the Laker roster I know Mike Trudell would love it he had a great relationship with Powell called him one of his favorite players ever to cover maybe his favorite ever yeah, that's an easy call there I mean Powell yeah. was he's special Kaycock uh, Tom Kaycock allowed the defense to make him alter the layup if he blocks it, so be it. But if he doesn't, he will get the basket or quite possibly the foul. But when, you make, when he makes you change your delivery, advantage defense. You know, Kaycock, only 6'7", but plays so much larger, uh, as we noticed and with the South Bay Lakers and then, of course, with the big club. THT, there's a pick, and, and a Tenacupo See, that gets time fouled. He, he set the screen, and he didn't move. You know, first of all, he couldn't even be held. But because he didn't go right away, he got held and he gets to foul on the opposition. Lakers are down by four. The shooting has not been good for either team. In this third quarter, Clippers are barely over 20%. Lakers in the mid-30s. Well, that's a good alley And a dunk by Kaycock. Nice to play uh, set up by Coos. Two-hand slam by Devante. Six to Coos and off of uh, no one and bounce straight out of bounds. Coos comes off the little curl and spots the teammate open. Goes up the little log and nice finish. Coos the 25 year old. Here's Kaycock again. Boy, I tell you what, he's taking on all the bigs for the Clippers right now. T H T counted for three. Wow, that three gives the Lakers a one point lead here with a minute change in the third. 
Hi, who wants to talk it over to end the third? Minute 26 left. Preseason game number one. Number one of four as THT knocks down the Lakers fourth from long distance. They uh, battle back a bit. There's Jason Kidd. Talking to Frank Vogel. And THT, now the leading scorer in the ballgame. With 12. Schroeder with 10. The handoff. Down the middle, all the way. That's Kai Bowman. You might recall he's the uh, former Warrior. We saw him last year. A lot of times up at Chase Center. Loves to get to the rim. I mean, he can finish if you let him get in there. From BC, Kai Bowman. Actually made 12 starts for the Warriors last season. Coos, a little hesitation with the dribble. Now they'll work on the perimeter. Fort Tucker wants to get in the lane. Tries to lob it under the kickoff. Look out. He goes down hard. And Antenna Kupo and company coming over to make sure their teammate is okay. We have been waiting for this, and Mike Trudell is not disappointing. It's an Alex Caruso update. What you got? Yeah, Bill, so Caruso slipped in the first half, and he just has a sore hip flexor. Nothing serious, but they decided not to put him back in the game, particularly since it's a preseason contest. But again, so he slipped, sore hip flexor. That's what you saw uh, the head athletic trainer, Nina say working on, but nothing serious. Back to you. Very good. So... Uh, Again, he had some hip issues last year. This doesn't seem to be related to that at all. Only a 41-7 remaining here in the third quarter in a low-scoring preseason tilt between these two hallway rivals. Waiting for the Cliffs to try to set up a lob for Tucker. Tucker's one of those uh, players that just loves to elevate. <laughs> How about he just loves it. Quinn Cook ties up his man and forces a turnover. Jordan Ford. Another turnover. How many is that for the Clippers? 21. That's 21. Led to 22 Laker points so far. Lakers have turned it over 16 times. Clippers have turned that into 20. Cook pulls up 17 feet. No rebound. Kevin Kelly controls it. They're in the attacking zone. A lot of subs on the floor now. It's what we expect to see. There's Tucker. You just talked about him. Tucker bobbing and weaving his way. Drive, kick. Kevin Kelly got it. From distance. Fiondu. Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly didn't. When I was watching him warm up, I didn't think he had that kind of range. But boy, he looked really comfortable on that shot. Born in Ontario, Canada. It's Kevin Kelly. The spin and the miss. The end of the quarter. Oh boy, hit to the fourth. 12 more minutes. See if they can clean up their turnovers in the top of 12 as the Clippers have taken the advantage. They lead the Lakers by two. <laughs> 